the angel said to the Virgin Mary, for with God nothing will be impossible. After asking about the reason of this very special greeting that the angel Gabriel said to Virgin Mary, he told her, do not be afraid because what happening to you make you a very blessed girl that God choose you so that his begotten son will be born from you. This very special way of greeting to Virgin Mary and she was a young girl. She didn't know what's this greeting for. So the Holy Spirit came upon her by the peace that the angel Gabriel said and he comforted her heart. Somewhere else the Lord he said in book of Luke when he was talking about how impossible to the rich to enter the kingdom of God and then the disciples they were asking God so who can be saved? He answered them and saying, the things which are impossible with man are possible with God. I think to have what is impossible in our life possible, we need to have very important thing. And this is what made God choose Virgin Mary. Of course, she has a lot, a lot of characterized, but above all, she is obedient and she is very strong, faithful young virgin. And her faith made her to be chosen from God. So God sent his only begotten son from her. And when we talk about the faith of Virgin Mary, we are talking about very deep and very strong faith that she has without negotiation, without asking a lot of a question, she accept and she said at the end, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. Whatever God wants from me, I accept it. I am the maidservant of the Lord. So her very special and unique strong faith made her worthy to be called later on from Elizabeth, her relative, when she went to her and she told her that the mother of my Lord come to me, who I am. So also she become a mother of God. That's why this very little young virgin has very strong and special faith. And the question, do we really, as a Christian, we have this kind of a strong faith to say to Jesus yes and to accept him in our life to surrender? Maybe it's easy to say, of course, I am a Christian. I can say easy yes to God, come to my heart. But my life, my lifestyle will explain if I really said this, 100% following God or I just say it from my mouth. Do we really live this strong life with a strong faith like Virgin Mary? full of joy and full of obedience. This faith, we can talk about it in too many aspects, but I will talk about three things in the faith of Virgin Mary that made her faith a special, kind, strong, deep faith. Number one, her faith was faith without doubt. And this is very important because a lot of time, especially when we go through hard time, we begin to ask God, where are you? 
why we don't see your hand with us. But the Virgin, when the angel Gabriel gave her this very good news, she said very simply, let it be to me according to your word. She did not negotiate with him. She didn't refuse. She didn't have doubt. The only question she asked the angel, because she knows she is virgin and she is not married. So how come she will conceive? In the Old Testament, even her relative Elizabeth and Zechariah, a couple months ago before this event, the Annunciation of Virgin Mary, they were married. Yes, they were old in age. They were not able to give maybe birth, but they were married. But Virgin Mary, she is a virgin and she is not married with other words. She has no relationship with men. That's the only concern she had. But her strong faith when the angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, then she accept, she surrendered, and she didn't negotiate. That's why her faith is more than any kind of faith we can maybe imagine. The second thing about the faith of Virgin Mary, that her faith was without argument. And this is very hard, especially that most of us, if not all of us, we have a high degrees. We are educated people. We have uh, masters, we have bachelor. I read a lot of books, I have PhD, I'm a very successful person in the life. I made the best decision, made me one of the maybe most successful people. So for me to accept the faith, I have to put a lot of a question mark and God is responsible to answer me. Otherwise, if he is not, that means he is not good God and not strong and mighty God, so I don't want this kind of God to follow or to believe in. But Virgin Mary, without any negotiation, without any kind of argument, she just surrounded and she said to the angel, here I am, I am the maid servant of God. Of course, as a Christian, God gave us mind. We have to use it. But the simplicity of the faith is very important in our salvation plan. Last week I was reading a story about orphanage in Greece. And that orphanage was by the coast, right on the water. There was a very simple person working in that orphanage. And everybody used to make fun of him to the point he thought the word Assumption, the Feast of Assumption, he thought the word Assumption is a name of saint. He didn't know what word Assumption mean. So he was always praying, Oh, Saint Assumption, pray for me. And people used to make fun of him a lot. One day, they had no food. The people, the orphanage, and he went down, and there was a small room, it was right by the wall. He opened window and he began to pray and ask God. He said, Oh, Saint Assumption, can you help us? I have no food to give to the little kids. They are hungry. Please pray to God, he can help us. While this person was praying, all of a sudden, a big fish jumped from the water and enter that window and came to that person. I think a lot of time we put the faith of others under the microscope. And we say this person doesn't have faith. This person is for faith not strong. Believe me, if we don't have simplicity in our faith to accept what God telling us, what the church teaching us, I think our faith will be faith with condition to God to answer us. Otherwise, we won't fully believe in God. That's why we see among the Christian community 
a lot of people, they have faith, but between them and themselves, as clergy, as priests, I'm telling you, people, they come to me. They say, Abuna, God is not fair in this area. God didn't do good to those group of people. And they complain. And no matter what you explain to them, in their mind, God is not strong enough. For example, we hear how much the Christian being persecuted throughout the history and lately in our modern history in the Middle East, we always ask why God is not just, you know, do something and kill the bad people. Not knowing we have to believe in God, knowledge and God righteousness and God also justice. So God knows what he's doing. We only need to believe and then we will understand. This is what exactly, or this is the kind of faith that Mary, she had. Very simple faith without any argument. And the third thing about the faith of Mary, she had faith without fear. Very simple faith, but very strong faith. That's why when she accepted this good news, she didn't faint. Because we know the presence of God is not easy. Moses in the Old Testament, he keep asking God, God, I want to see you. Later on, it's long story, he saw a little bit from the glory of God. His face was shining for 40 days. No one was able to look to his face. He was covering his face. So that later on become Paul in his way to Damascus to persecute the church there, the Lord appeared to him. He fell from his horse on, her, on the ground. So the presence of God is very, very strong. No maybe anybody can handle his glory. But because the faith of Virgin Mary was very simple and without fear, she accepted the Lord himself in her womb, and she conceived, and she carried God in her womb. 